Hello, we are going to make one minute muffins and I wanna share with you the recipe and a couple adjustments that I make to make it taste more like a bread and then I can make a low carb friendly uh, grilled cheese sandwich, maybe turn it into like a bagel, put cream cheese on it, lots of options here. You're gonna not see my head during this because of the way my camera is. So um, you'll get to see kind of what I'm doing here in the bowl. And you'll notice that I'm using a regular cereal bowl versus one of these ram cans to put in the microwave because it makes it more flat and larger. So that way I am able to make it into um, like a tuna fish sandwich, egg, salad, sandwich, anything like that. And let me tell you, grilled cheese sandwiches are my favorite. So I'm excited for this. So let's get going. This recipe is from um, healthylivinghowto.com. And I've made this a lot of times. I really do like it. It's helped me get through that craving for like a peanut butter toast or almond butter toast. Um, and also making like a bagel feeling, you know, with the cream cheese on it. So I think you guys will like it. I have all my supplies ready to go. We have two different ways to make it. One will be with an almond meal and the other one will be with a coconut flour. Um, so we got two different ways. We'll do it both ways. We'll do one in the ramkin, one in the bowl. Let's start. Okay, following the recipe, you got a quarter cup of almond flour. So we'll just measure that out and just kind of put it on there easy. And then we have some flax seed that we want to put in there. That's two tablespoons worth. So I just have some of Bob's Red Mill. Can you see that? This is the whole ground flax seed meal and I'll show you what it looks like. It's grown. You know, it's really healthy for you. You got your good fibers and it's not going to be very noticeable at all. So just get that in there. You need to do two tablespoons. Okay, put that in. Now we want to do a pinch of Celtic sea salt. I have the pink Himalayan salt from Costco and I just kind of give it a little bit in there. Perfect. Now you have your baking powder. And you are going to put in how much? A half a teaspoon of baking powder. And this will help it rise nicely. I don't know if you guys know this, but you should be putting dates on your baking powder when you open it because after six months of it being open, you know, it doesn't work the same. At least that's what I'm told. All right, one farm egg. It can be any egg. I just happen to have Americana eggs. They like to lay green and blue eggs of all sorts of colors. To this one here, I'm gonna go away from the recipe just a little bit to add some more flavor because I'm going to make a grilled cheese sandwich today with it. So I got the pink Himalayan salt herb blend. I do enjoy my salt, so it's okay that I have a little extra salt in here. I'll just eyeball it. It's about a teaspoon. Again, it just smells delicious, really good. Okay, and then we need a tablespoon of coconut oil. Let's see. <laughs> Trying to close this. All right, half a tablespoon of coconut oil. We're gonna eyeball it with a measuring spoon here. And I'm just gonna scrape this out because as you know, it's unrefined coconut oil, so it looks more like a paste. And I'm not gonna worry too much about it. I'm just going to put that right in here. Some people melt it before you put it in, but I am just going to mix it all together. I'll throw it in the microwave. This is the easiest recipe. You don't have to worry about turning on the oven, stove top, any of that. Okay. I think I'm gonna need a little bit of a spatula to get it off the sides. Okay, I'll just get it out of my little mixer. Put this down in the center of the bowl. I'm kind of forming it so I have myself 
you know, like a piece of bread here. And I'm hoping it'll get thick enough so I can cut it in half and make a sandwich out of it. Okay. So as you can see, I formed it. Now we're gonna go over to the microwave and put it in for one minute. cooking in the microwave let's get going on the coconut version all right so you'll notice this will be a smaller amount than the almond flour the coconut flour open this baby up I'm going to just wipe this down with a napkin oh, my camera's gonna move because the camera is on the paper towel holder We only need one tablespoon of coconut flour. Throw that in the ramekin. And then we need all the other same ingredients. The only thing that's different in this particular one is going to be the amount that you put in for coconut flour because it's more dense. So one tablespoon of coconut flour. Then we need two tablespoons again of our ground flaxseed. Again, really healthy for you. One, two. <clears throat> a little bit of salt. This one I'm just going to leave plain and just put a little bit of the pink Himalayan salt in there. That'll be great. Oh yes. And then we need another farm fresh egg. Do I want to use one of the Rhode Island eggs or do I want to use an Americana egg? I think we'll go with Americana again. All right, farm fresh egg going in. Now I have chickens. That's why I have my farm fresh eggs. And we give them their shells back. This is another half tablespoon of the coconut oil. Where's that napkin at, huh? All right. Now anyway, we give them back their shells because it's good calcium for them. So they keep laying some real nice, healthy, hard shells when they lay their eggs. And they seem to like it. The only thing is, is we have to like crunch it up so they don't know that it is a egg. Otherwise they'll start to peck at their own eggs in the box. And that would be terrible because then I'd be going outside to a mess every time I go to pick eggs from the chicken box. And we have a rooster. We just put the rooster in this flock because we have neighbors that are moving and they couldn't take their chickens home with, or you know, to their new location. So we inherited their chickens and we're happy. We love chickens. We have a lot of a variety now. And again, I'm just gonna scrape this down. I just have it mixed in. Like I said, some people do melt their coconut oil before putting it in. I am just cutting that step out because it works just fine without doing that. All right, so here is the ramkin. I have it in there. This is gonna get a little, you know, decently thick for us. I think I forgot to put in the baking powder. So we're gonna wanna do that still. All right, all right. Start talking and then you lose your train of thought. Half a teaspoon of the baking powder. And you can find this recipe at healthylivinghowto.com. Again, healthylivinghowto.com. That's where this recipe came from and they have a lot of other recipes out there. Let's get this out of there. <laughs> and you can use a fork to just stir this up. I just happen to have this out and I'm using it. All right, let's put this in the microwave. For one minute. Now this is the bread that we just put in there and we made it in a cereal bowl instead of the ram, I think I'm saying it right, ramkin. Anyway, it looks like it's a little bit soft on top for me. So 
So what I want to do is put this back in the microwave, but it smells really good. And it looks kind of like oatmeal, but once I flip it out of here, you'll be able to see more of a bread um, consistency and shape to it. I'm just gonna wanna put it back in the microwave for a little bit longer because I don't know if you can tell, but in the center here, it's a little bit doughy still. So let's get that back in the microwave. And I'm just gonna add a little more time to the other bowl where I did the coconut one because um, I'm thinking it's gonna need a little bit longer than a minute as well. And then we'll be good to go. seconds to that larger bowl and we'll just go ahead and I'm gonna use a towel to pick it up Woo, hot tip it upside down and you have your it's like an English muffin that you could make it into you just will slice it in half you can put eggs bacon cheese you name it you can jazz this up however you want to I really enjoy taking and putting um, that cream cheese on there. I do like my dairy. Okay, yes, and the bread here is looking really good too. And we'll get this put out on a plate. <laughs> and it should just flip right out of here. However, it is not. There we go. And there we have it. And it does, it has nice thickness to it. So I can cut this in half. I don't know if you're able to see. I'll be able to cut that in half and make that into a sandwich. I'm hoping to grill up some, or sorry, make a grilled cheese sandwich with it. All right, well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any other suggestions on things you want to see for recipes, I'm trying to do more of a low-carb um, lifestyle right now and just trying to find what works best for me. And to come, I will be decorating the house with Christmas tree lights. I love decorating the Christmas trees outside. And then also I'm making Christmas arches and we have lots of chickens here and we like to... Um, I don't know, just kind of show you things that we do around the house and different tips that we have on raising chickens and our dogs and, you know, getting ready for the holidays. So have a great day and we'll see you later.